Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you. Escaping Q1 in the British Grand Prix was eased by two drivers who did not set a time. Toro Rosso Honda's Brandon Hartley, whose crash in morning practice necessitated repairs that would prevent him from taking part in qualifying, and Lance Stroll of Williams, who beached his car in gravel at the start of the session. His teammate Sergei Sirotkin would replicate the move, but recover his car in time to get a lap in, qualifying a lowly P18. Both suffered a sudden loss of control, thought to be an aerodynamic problem that causes flow separation from the Williams FW41's rear wing. Despite an impressive performance by Stoffel van Dorn's teammate in practice, the Belgian qualified P17, more than 0.9 seconds off Fernando Alonso, who sank out of the top 10 in qualifying, ending up in P13. The trio of Q1 knockouts was completed by Carlos Sainz Jr., who encountered traffic that ruined his fastest laps. Footing the Q3 appearances, Charles Leclerc paves the way for a fourth consecutive points finish in his Alfa Romeo Sauber, alongside Esteban Ocon in his Force India. Both share a best finishing position in 2018 of sixth. Red Bull rules row three. Though Daniel Ricciardo roosts almost a half second behind Max Verstappen, possibly attributable to lost Q3 time, the Aussie suffered a stuck DRS flap because of a software error. Haas reserves the row behind Red Bull, Kevin Magnussen flipping the order between him and Romain Grosjean established on Friday. Lewis Hamilton of Mercedes had to scrap together every last thousandth of a second he could find to inch back ahead of both Ferraris. Number 44 found just enough time, 0.044 seconds, to do so and landed on pole for the sixth time at the British Grand Prix, also marking his fourth consecutive P1 grid position at Silverstone. This puts the Brit in position for a chance to retake the championship lead, which he lost to Vettel in Austria due to a mechanical failure. Should the British Grand Prix finish as it starts, Hamilton will recover a six-point lead in the championship and Mercedes will draw four points closer to Ferrari, which leads the Constructors' Championship by 10 points. Full qualifying results can be found below. Thank you for watching our video. Please give us a big like, subscribe to our channel for new videos every day with amazing cars. Leave us your opinion in the comment section on the video. Thank you.